cliff might be neck deep in scrap. Understood. Ratchet, do you have Cliff Jumper's coordinates? I'm locked on his signal, Optimus, but our team is scattered across time zones. RC, Bulkhead, Bumblebee, rendezvous back at base and prepare to ground bridge. deposit what's left of it the first decepticon activity in three years that we know of if they're scouting for energon they may be preparing for his return cliff jumper's life signal just went offline Must not allow our anger over the loss of Cliff Jumper to impair our judgment. As of today, only we five Autobots remain on this Earth. RC. If Cliff's gone, standing around here sulking won't bring him back. Optimus, helping humans will only result in more tragedy. Your opinion is noted. And the cons would have been scrap metal if I hadn't been distracted by the human. Human? Two boys. I guess the second one caught us in action? I don't know. Was a little busy at the time. Anyone perceived as our ally will be at grave risk. We are autonomous robotic organisms from the planet Cybertron, also known as Autobots. Why are you here? To protect your planet from the Decepticons. The Jokers who tried to bump us off last night? Okay, why are they here? A fair question, Jack. In part, they are here because our planet is uninhabitable. Ravaged by centuries of civil war. Why were you fighting a war? Foremost, over control of our world supply of Energon, the fuel and lifeblood of all Autobots and Decepticons alike. The combat was fierce and endured for centuries. In the beginning, I fought alongside one whom I considered a brother. But in war, ideals can be corrupted. And it was thus that Megatron lost his way. <sighs> Megatron has not been seen nor heard from in some time. But if his return is imminent, as I fear, it could be catastrophic. And since you now know of our existence, I fear that as of last night, the Decepticons know of yours. Got it. If we spot any strange vehicles, call 911. It is best that you three remain under our watch. At least until we can determine our enemy's intentions. Optimus, with all due respect, the human children are in as much danger here as anywhere. Children? Then, for the time being, Ratchet, we must watch where we step. I thought we were the only humans who knew about you guys. Special Agent Fowler is our designated liaison to the outside world, as he tends to visit only when there are issues. Seven wrecks, 34 fender benders, a three-hour traffic jam, and of particular note, numerous reports of a speeding motorcycle of unknown make and a black and yellow custom muscle car. So, anything you care to get up your tin chest? Prime! We have the situation under control, Agent Fowler. They're back, aren't they? If you are referring to the Decepticons, 
I have doubts that they ever left. Your planet is much too valuable. Then it's time to wake up the Pentagon. Hear me, Agent Fowler. We are your best, possibly your only, defense against the Decepticon threat. Bullshit, I needed that! Enough! Military involvement will only result in catastrophe. Perhaps you can condone widespread human casualties, Agent Fowler. I, however, cannot. Blasted Earth check. Cliff Jumper's signal popped back online. Who's Cliff Jumper? How is that possible? It isn't. Another bug. The system's chock full of them. If there's any chance Cliff's alive. Ratchet, prepare sick bay. We may need it. Hey! What can we do? Remain with Ratchet. Aww. Oh. Autobots, roll out! Energon mine. Judging by its scale, the Decepticons have been tunneling here for quite some time. Let's find Cliff Jumper. Maximum overdrive. It's Cliff. I have a visual. We'll cover you. Go! Let's get you home, partner. Cutting it a bit close. How about Cliff Jumper? What was that explosion? Was there a fight? Can I come with next time? <sighs> Look. RC, what did you see? Not Cliff. At least, not anymore. He was mutated. Butchered. Like... Something from those con experiments during the war. Oh. Uh, Optimus, I, I hate to bug, but no bars. A security precaution. The silo walls isolate all radio waves. Well, if I don't call my mom, like now, I'm pretty sure the cops will be out looking for me. Have you broken a law? A uh, curfew. It's after 10 p.m. I better get home too, or I'll be grounded for a year. Earth customs, I hadn't considered, but the issue of your safety remains. Bulkhead, accompany Mika home. Awesome! My host baron's a freak! And maintain covert surveillance in vehicle form. Curbside duty, got it. Ah. Bumblebee, you'll watch over Wrath. Ratchet? Busy. RC? You'll accompany Jack. Oh, still dizzy. You're fine, says your physician. <sighs> I needed that! Stay broken.
what could have caused that? I have a grave suspicion, Ratchet. Dark Energon. The residue RC found on Cliff Chumper brought your broken equipment to life. It would stand to reason that the very same substance brought Cliff Jumper back from the dead. Hmm. That would account for his life signal inexplicably coming back online, but dark, Energon? It's so scarce as to be virtually non-existent. What would it be doing on Earth? It was transported by Megatron. For what purpose? To conquer this planet by raising an army of the undead. <laughs> well, Megatron will need to break quite a few toaster ovens. I mean, where on this world would he find that many Cybertronian dead? Autobots, prepare to... Roll out? Remain here. Ratchet, you'll come with me. RC. We'll be outside communications range for some time, so I'm putting you in charge. With all due respect, playing bodyguard is one thing, babysitting's another. <gasps> Besides, Ratchet hasn't been in the field since the war. My pistons may be rusty, but my hearing is sharp as ever. For the moment, it's only reconnaissance. Then why do I hear an edge in your voice? RC, much has changed in the last 24 hours, and we all need to adapt. Ratchet? Bridge us out. Optimus, what do we hope to find here? The site of the largest Cybertronian battlefield in this galaxy. On Earth? You must be joking. Do you recall the period late in the war? when both sides began hiding their Energon spoils off-world? Of course. It's the reason Energon deposits exist on planets such as this one. It is also the reason battles came to be waged on planets such as this one. And I fear Megatron's memory is as long as history. For the first time in my life, Optimus, I had hoped that you were wrong. Optimus! I know why you're here, Megatron. Hardly a surprise, Optimus. After all... Megatron has desecrated the resting place of our fallen ancestors, and his own. Not even the dead are free from his warmongering. Ratchet, retreat! Bridge yourself back to base! No, I shall stand with you, Optimus. You may require a medic when this is over with. Recommend dissection. The smaller the pieces, the better. Sound advice, old friend. I have mastered Dark Energon. When you fall, Optimus, you too shall join my army. Optimus! 
This prolonged exposure to dark energon is sapping our strength. We cannot falter now. Bravo, Optimus! Though this is but a prelude, you may wish to save your strength for the main event. You will not prevail, Megatron. Not while Energon still flows through my veins. Fitting, for it is Dark Energon which flows through mine. If this wasn't Megatron's endgame, what is? What happened to you guys anyway? We engaged an army of undead Cybertronian warriors. Zombies? You fought zombies and I missed it? Bulkhead, you exercised extremely poor judgment in allowing the humans to accompany you. But it wasn't Bulkhead's fault. M Miko, please! And check it out. Recon! Hmm. Ratchet, have a look. It could be of importance to Megatron. Well, if this was just an average day with the Autobots, then I don't want to be a part of it. Not anymore. Jack... Putting you in harm's way was never our intent. However, it is no longer the safety of you three that is at risk, but the safety of all humankind. We will respect your decision if you wish to leave. No point in long goodbyes, here's the door. It can't be. Optimus! These are engineering specs for a space-time vortex generator. Megatron's building a space bridge. If he hasn't already. The sooner he leaves, the better. Bulkhead, a space bridge runs in two directions. Megatron may not be using it to leave Earth, but to bring through his conquering army. The main event Megatron referred to? But the only place Megatron could possibly recruit that many fallen warriors. Precisely. Optimus, I've pinpointed the location of Megatron's space bridge. High in Earth's orbit. Out of our reach. Since Megatron is likely already in transit, I'm afraid we must take that risk. Reaching the space bridge first is our only means of stopping him. Hey. Guess who's back? Autobots, prepare for departure. If you leave me stranded on a planet teeming with humans, I will never forgive you. Until we meet again, old friend. Autobots, roll out! Maximum Overdrive! Autobots, transform and gravitize! Uh, don't look down. Or up. Or left.
So Megatron's packing enough dark energon to raise Cybertron's dead? And since we don't possess ready means of disabling the space bridge, nothing gets in or out. Well, what are they waiting for? It appears the Decepticons have sustained serious damage to their interstellar navigation system. Huh, that's my handiwork. Great job, Bulkhead. Without the dish, Megatron will be unable to aim the space bridge at Cybertron. If Megatron went to the trouble of rendezvousing with his space bridge, he must have an alternate targeting system. A remote one. <laughs> From what I know of Earth's technology, I doubt there exists a single radio telescope dish on this planet powerful enough to pinpoint Cybertron. What about a whole bunch of... This is not child's play. Good thinking, Raf. Ratchet, have Agent Fowler alert the array staff to the security hazard. You, soldier! You're out of uniform! Put on some pants! That may be a challenge. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Raph, what if we could get you all the way in? Like, inside the building in? I could log into their internal network on the other side of the firewall. The risk is too great. The Decepticons will be there. Perhaps even on site. Optimus, with all due respect, you said it yourself. This is bigger than the safety of three humans. Yeah, if we let the cons win... Raph? I want to give it a shot. What just happened? The Decepticons are locking on to Cybertron. Indeed, Bumblebee. This can only be Raph's doing. How do we beat a whole planet of the undead? Optimus! I'm registering a rapidly expanding mass in their space bridge vortex. One with a peculiar energy signature. Dark energon. Ratchet, we must destroy the space bridge. There's enough live energon coursing through it to achieve detonation. But we lack the firepower to ignite it. Optimus, I must say. The space bridge is our sole hope of ever returning to Cybertron. Are you certain its destruction is the only option? I am afraid so. Then by all means, let us light our darkest hour. Autobots, take your positions and follow Ratchet's lead. While I make my stand. Your fellow Autobots are wise, Optimus. They know when to retreat. I hold no illusions about engaging your army, Megatron. But I might derail its objective by removing its head. <laughs> Highly unlikely, Optimus, as I am infused with their very might. One shall stand, one shall fall. I do not wish to question your all-seeing wisdom, but I believe the Autobots are up to something again. Beneath your bridge this time. Ah, misdirection, Optimus. You would have made a fine Decepticon. 
I chose my side. Optimus, the ground bridge is ready and waiting. Autobots, jump! Four life signals. One very faint. Lost one this week. By the AllSpark, don't let it be two. And Megatron? Not even he could have survived Ground Zero. So, is this the part where you say goodbye and tell us we need to forget we ever saw you? Without a means of leaving this world, we Autobots take strength in the bonds we have forged with our three young friends. True warriors. If not in body, then in spirit. My name is Optimus Prime, and I send this message. Though we did not choose to be of Earth, it would seem that we are here to stay. If you approach this planet with hostile intent, know this. We will defend ourselves. We will defend humanity. We will defend our home.